now a Memorial High School student has been arrested by police after a string of false 911 calls made this week. And we're going to be expecting an active weather day. We're going to talk about the details of what to expect coming up in a few moments. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday, and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now. I'm McKenna Alexander. And I'm Julian Seawright. Good morning, McKenna. Good morning, Julian. It was a pretty nice night. I fell asleep to some rain last night. Mm -hmm. It's a nice change of pace. Yeah, nice little drizzle overnight. Mm -hmm. And today, well, we're going to be seeing a bit more of it. Really? Yeah, exactly. So we're going to kick off exactly what we're going to be expecting. Well, first things first, we got to take a look at our weather bulletins because northern Wisconsin is looking at plenty of wintry weather that's going to just wreak havoc on them throughout the course of the day. But for us, us, well, we are going to be seeing quite a bit of activity as well. A wind advisory is going to be in effect until 9 a.m. on Sunday, and that's for all the areas that are onto that tan color onto your screen. In addition, this is what we are seeing on our radar as of right now, looking at that line of showers and even some light thunderstorms are starting to roll their way in, coming in from Iowa County, going into Dane County as of right now. But one thing we will start to see throughout the course of the day is we're going to see multiple rounds of this rain and thunderstorms because of the severe weather outlook of us seeing slight risk of potentially seeing some severe weather for us. But we're going to go into details about this because we are going to be seeing quite a soggy day for us as we begin the afternoon, McKenna. It's better to be soggy than snowy, at eh, least I think. Yeah, precipitation's absolutely. precipitation, right? <laughs> that is true. Maybe not the type a lot of people want, but I'll take snow. Or rain. Rain. I would not take snow. I take it back. Wrong day, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't bring the snow back and I'll be good. All, All right, thanks, enough. Joanne. Well, this morning, uh, dozens of uh, truckers are continuing to make their way across the county for what they say is a fight for freedom. Our Tyler Melodina met with the convoy yeah, and one of its stops here in the Badger State last night. She's latest on their efforts. For the truckers making their way across the country, known as the Freedom Convoy. They're the backbone of the U.S. They're the backbone of every single state in the U.S. Hundreds of people waving American flags in a show of support. We want a right to be able to choose on what we want. The convoy traveling through Portage is a part of a national effort to speak out against what they consider too much government control. We want it to stop. We want our freedoms back. We want our voices. And I think that's what it is. We want our voices heard. Particularly taking issue with COVID-19 mandates around masking and vaccines. There's people that are losing their jobs because they refuse to take them. Whether it's right or wrong, they still need to make um, their own choices. But not everyone turning up is on board with their message. I heard this was going on and I was a bit concerned. Um, not quite sure why people even need to protest mandates that it's my understanding have been lifted already. Scared they're painting a picture about the state of our country that isn't real. As far as I'm concerned, it's just propaganda. It's, it's fear mongering that, that somehow we're losing our rights here in this country because of some health protocols. Still, the majority of people lining the street aren't willing to back down. Instead, they're looking to one another for support and finding it. Uh, you see little children, you see families, you see um, just single people out here just wanting to, they want more. They don't want, they don't want this anymore. There are currently about 75 trucks participating in this convoy, but more groups are expected to meet up in our nation's capital. And more news after a week of stressful false alarms for MMSD students and staff, Madison police have arrested a Memorial High School student for making multiple false 911 calls about threats at the school. Right now, it is still unclear if the student was involved in other threats there this week as well. Officials have indicated they believe there may also be copycats involved and say the person responsible is seeking media attention. Now, this comes after officials at Madison Memorial High School say another student now facing disciplinary action after bringing a BB gun to school yesterday. In a letter sent to parents, administrators say a student notified school authorities that a different student may be in possession of a gun. When confronted by police, that student did admit to having it. The school officials say it wasn't loaded. Looking toward Milwaukee now, the city's police chief wants extra protection for employees of his department. He's calling for bulletproof vests for all after a shooting at one of the city's police stations. That's where a gunman opened fire on officers inside District 5 last week. No one was injured, but a bullet did pierce through a clear partition coming within inches of an officer's head. We did put out a directive in regards to that um, we encourage our officers and the front staff to wear their vests. This shooting situation harm more than just our officers. We have civilian staff who don't deserve that type of environment in regards to their safety. 
After closing the public lobby for a few days, it's now open once again in that station. The chief says these are temporary measures until they figure out a more long-term solution to better protect the men and women of MPD. Here in Dan County, more than $16 million will be going to a new jail consolidation project. The Board of Supervisors voting in favor of it yesterday. This is in addition to the project's original $150 million budget. That increased due to the rising cost of construction. Now, the county has plans to build a new six-story facility. Originally, the project was $24 million over budget, but after coming through several different proposals, the county board settled on $16 million worth of additional funds and a compromise. We've been asking the same question for nearly a quarter century now. Who would murder a priest and why? Today, we're still not any closer to getting those answers. But the Dayton County Sheriff's Office hopes the annual reminder generates just one tip that helps you finally crack one of the area's oldest cold cases. Brad Hamilton has the latest. This building may have changed a bit in 24 years, but the Dane County Sheriff's commitment to figuring out what happened inside has not. It's important that the community knows that this is still an active and ongoing investigation. An investigation that started on this date back in 1998. St. Michael's School, the scene of a horrible crime. That morning, a teacher found Father Alfred Kuntz dead near his living quarters. His throat had been cut, possibly after a struggle. Now, there have been tips and leads, but in the 8,766 days since, not a single arrest. Dean County Sheriff Kelvin Barrett is hoping to change that. It is important for us to continue to, to uncover the leads that are provided, to take tips as they come in, and continue to investigate this completely as if it happened yesterday. And that's the urgency that we have for this investigation. Advances in technology may help. Someone even created a Father Kuntz Twitter page back in 2018, resharing information and pleading with anyone to come forward. I can guarantee you that as the Dane County Sheriff, we will continue to put all of our efforts and resources to bringing justice to the Kuntz family and allowing them some closure in this horrible incident. Over the years, theories have bubbled up, many shared on that Twitter account. But in the end, Baird is putting his faith in an age-old police mindset that has consistently been proven true. One tip, just one, away from solving this case. And that is out there, and it's going to come. Still ahead, lots of events are happening around Madison this weekend. What you and your family can look forward to coming up. And you're taking a live look over the Capitol. Julian's tracking your forecast just ahead on News 3 Now. Trust the First Born Weather Team for your most accurate forecast. We're USA Insulation, and our premium injection foam turns your cold and drafty house into a warm and toasty home. Call now and save $500 on whole home insulation. USA Insulation. Culligan, your local water expert. There's an invisible threat in your backyard that could cause deadly heartworm disease for your dog. But not if you protect him every month with HeartGuard Plus, the number one choice of dogs. Digestive and neurological side effects have rarely been reported. Ask your vet for HeartGuard Plus. Everything is relative. Travel, for example. A trip to Stoughton might seem like a long way. But if you're shopping for diamonds, it's closer than you think. Diamond Select. Importers of shimmering diamonds from the mines of South Africa to the streets of Antwerp and Tel Aviv. They shop the diamond capitals of the world so you don't have to. Diamond Select. Direct pricing saves you money. Beyond GIA certified South African diamonds. Diamond Select. Downtown Stoughton. You're a hard worker. Provide for your family. Do good things in the community. Help out your neighbors. You've been there for so many others. Now, we're here for you. Your local Wisconsin Energy and Emergency Assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. the winter taken a toll on your roof? Call Feldco today and get free installation on your roofing project. Plus, no interest until 2023. Ah, fresh coffee. Hurry, free installation and soon. Call now. Call 866 866- 
for Feltco. We're USA Insulation, and our premium injection foam turns your cold and drafty house into a warm and toasty home. Call now and save $500 on whole home insulation. USA Insulation. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Well, we're going to dive right into our weather because we're going to have quite an active day throughout all of Wisconsin as we get in throughout the rest of our mornings. We can see the winter weather bulletins are lighting up northern and central areas of Wisconsin throughout this morning and going into tonight as well as that dynamic system is going to be making its way. But we are also looking at a wind advisory for areas in southern Wisconsin. This will be in effect until 9 a.m. for Sunday. But this is the system we've been talking about that's been so dynamic and really potent and bringing in some pretty strong storms throughout the area even overnight and now we were going to see more of it throughout the course of today. This is the movement we're going to be seeing. It's really going to impact mainly the upper Midwest, especially areas into that northern eastern side of Iowa, southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, and even for northern Wisconsin and Minneapolis areas as well. It's going to be sweeping its way through. Once it's out, we're going to see right behind it as that warmth rolls in, which is why we're going to be seeing temperatures going into around those 60s throughout the course of the day, but then behind this mid latitude cyclone we can see that cold front right behind it is going to be dropping temperatures right back going into Sunday to more seasonable type temperatures for us around into the 40s but as we're taking a look right now on our radar we can see plenty of activity is spurring up as we continue throughout the rest of this morning we can see just around southern Wisconsin even here in Dane County we're now starting to see a bit more rain starting to flow its way through but for Grant County and for Iowa and Sock where that's where we're going to be keeping our eye on for the start of seeing some of that rain. So that line is going to continue to push its way through and you can see some of those light spots on your screen. That's where we're seeing some thunderstorms that are already popping off as we continue throughout the rest of this morning. Now again for our severe weather outlook, much of southern Wisconsin even stretched its way just a bit east from Dane County, but all of it for the most part is going to be into that slight risk for seeing a severe weather. And on top of it, the main threat that we're going to be seeing for those that are into the yellow, which is a pretty uh, slight risk of what we're going to be seeing in terms of it. Well, we're going to be looking at high winds to be our biggest threat for us. However, for hail, it's going to be east of, or excuse me, west of Dane County, mainly into the northeastern side of Iowa is where we're looking for that. In terms of tornadoes, probabilities are very minuscule here in southern Wisconsin. However, it's going to be better for areas into the northeastern section of Iowa. Now, as we take a look, this is what we're going to be doing in terms of timing out things. Going into the rest of this morning, we're going to be seeing a break as we get into the early part of this afternoon of some of that rain and thunderstorms, but another round is going to continue throughout the afternoon this evening for tonight and carrying into the overnight hours as well. We'll talk more about this in detail, but here's a quick look at our 10 day forecast because after today we're going to be seeing those 40s and 30s back much more seasonable conditions for us, but we got to get through this stormy and 60 degree. Whew, I'm so happy I'm saying 60, even though it won't last long, but even still we're looking at stormy conditions for us, which I'm happy for. I'm even happy you're saying stormy like the 60s is great, but even the storms, just having right. that sound of rain again oh my is gosh. so nice. So tranquil, nice. so nice. Great uh, way to start your Saturday. At least I think so. Nah, nah, I'm with it. Very just relaxing afternoon. And cozed up on a the couch. There you go. Maybe not hot cocoa since it's a little bit warmer today. But still, <laughs> do whatever you want. Tea. All right. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> The annual Luna Fest Film Festival is back at the Zonta Club. You can enjoy eight short films that are by and for women right from your own home. The fundraiser has a goal of empowering women in Dane County. You have until Sunday afternoon at 4 to watch those films online. Tickets are $25 for adults and $15 for students. The Chosen Museum of Art is offering visitors a closer experience to nature thanks to a new installation that has visitors walk through suspended landscapes. There are thread drawings featuring woven depictions of native Wisconsin prairie plants on a massive scale. They're created by Toronto-based textile artist Amanda McAvore, who says it's her largest project ever. Um, so with this piece, what's really amazing um, and special to me is that you can see the piece from the first, second, and third floor. So you really do get that feeling like you're inside the work um, at, at different heights. It's comprised of 60 draping curtains that drift throughout the space, each individual curtain taking two to three days to complete using her unique threading process. That installation can be viewed from March 11th through September. 
Over in La Crosse now, a teacher is searching for answers to improve the well-being of her students. She says her four-legged friends are already spreading smiles all around the classroom. Jordan Fromstad tells us more. We're going to get started because I want to respect and honor everybody's time here. Students attend school in plenty of ways. For the next three weeks, you're going to be able to practice interviewing. Whether virtual or in person, Western's Cindy Prindle passes her knowledge to the next wave of technology experts. We're still on the cusp of like being normal, if there is such a thing as normal. One way. He's so, so mellow. Prindle provides peace. Good boy. In the midst of society's rat race is with the presence of her trained therapy dog, Murphy. And that adds some normalcy to the classroom. Murphy connects with students through his actions. And he'll recognize one of his students in the classroom. Students who struggle need no words for Murphy to understand. And he'll walk over and he'll, he'll, he'll pick up on that and he'll sense that. Oh, yeah, that's great. You know, de-stresses a bit, you know. Sam O'Neill can relate. He's a professional at what he does. Even students who learn from a webcam can't help but feel Murphy's attendance. It, it, it definitely helps me. Prindle wants to find solutions to improve students' well-being. Therapy dogs are meant to be petted. He's a part of a study right now. She is collecting data, two years worth, to understand dogs like Murphy and their true impact on people's yeah, mental wellness. He kind of follows me around when I walk around the classroom. Data that so far shows promise, but her eyes tell her more. People are happy. It's, it's noticeable. Dogs like Murphy exist outside the classroom in a variety of professions. I have physicians in the classroom with dogs, bringing therapy dogs into their units. All the way to district attorneys for various counties falling in love with this therapy. Isn't that the truth, Alex? Right? For Prindle, this is all so personal. It means a lot to me because um, it starts internally. Um, you know, we all have things that we deal with, including myself. She wants to keep this conversation alive. He's been doing this a long time, five years, and it's been nothing but love like this. Perhaps improving a student's day so they can focus on their goals. It helps them be the best version of themselves possible. One of many ways those goals become achievements and cities become better communities. Prindle owns it, three therapy dogs and she rescued two of them. She says her study is the only one of its kind in Wisconsin. Coming up, there are several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will shares his picks and three things to watch. Trending news is just ahead on News 3 Now this morning, Saturday. Hey, Lainey, when is the baby coming? <laughs> very, very soon. Dad, what about yours? You're going to... Yeah, okay, well... <laughs> Attention homeowners, we started out with 50 homes and now we're looking for 30 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. We want to evaluate our custom bathing solutions and real homes for safety and convenience. Call Wisconsin's number one remodeler, Mad City Baths, as your trusted local source for easy access tub to shower conversions and walk-in tubs installed in as little as one day. Act now to be one of 30 homeowners who receive special savings with free installation on a new bath or shower. 18 months, no interest, no payments. Senior military discounts will take before and after pictures, and we're going to compensate you for your time. Pick up the phone and call in now to get a $50 Amazon gift card with your estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify, 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Instead of being impartial, media outlets have become advocates for the Democrat Party. They got Joe Biden, who campaigned from his basement, elected president. Now they're covering up the disasters his policies created by attacking and censoring anyone who exposes the failures. But they can't hide inflation, higher gas prices, and rising crime from the people devastated by them. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. I will continue to ask questions and uncover the truth. Big, 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 big 
well, but I'm going to do it like this talk. I'm going to make robots to help people. So that's why um, I got to go build some robots. At Pick and Save, we believe fresh is all about standards. That's why we do up to a 27-point inspection on our produce. Like for oranges, we check for color and scarring and more. Keeping only the best of the best on our shelves. Because when it comes to fresh for everyone, we believe the juice is worth the squeeze. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. Keeping an eye on the radars, we're starting to see some of that rain rolling into western parts of Dane County. And this is what we're tracking as of right now, that storm. Some of those lines starting to move in from northern Iowa and Illinois, starting to eclipse into southern areas of Wisconsin. And that's what we're going to be seeing throughout much of the early part of this morning. But as we get closer to the noon hour, we are looking for a bit of a break. And then with that, the warm-up is going to start to slide itself in. We're looking for upper 50s, lower 60s throughout southern Wisconsin to be sticking around throughout much of the afternoon, especially going into this evening. Then as we go into around dinner time, this is where we're going to start to see more consistent rainfall. And this can flow from moderate to heavy at times throughout the course of this evening, especially as we go into tonight with that last wave of rain really starting to bring in a bit more of some heavier rainfall for us. Looking for healthy amounts of some rain as these storms sweep their way through. Not going to be moving overly fast as winds aren't going to be too strong behind them, but they will be giving sufficient enough of rain to throughout southern Wisconsin. Our threats are very minimal throughout southern Wisconsin. Winds will be our biggest threat for us, but areas to the west could have potentials of uh, seeing a quick little spin up and even hail as well to be in the threat. We'll talk more about this in a few moments. Till then, let's toss it back to you, McKenna. All right, thanks, Julian. Well, there's clearly no shortage of films and shows streaming. Our Will Loper shares a few of the best in this weekend's three things to watch. Pirating is not for everyone. It's a really dangerous lifestyle. Newly streaming on HBO Max is the series Our Flag Means Death. I'm just looting this library, but I'm replacing all the books I've looted with ones I've already read. Reese Darby plays a gentleman who trades his life for that of a pirate, but finds swashbuckling isn't as easy as it looks. A lot of the guys are sweethearts deep down. Oh, it's perfect. They're just dealing with a fair amount of trauma. And we're quite certain they're pirates. Hard to say. One appears to be a heavy set woman in a silk dressing gown. Everybody hide! The first three episodes of Our Flag Means Death are streaming on HBO Max now. A gentleman never arrives empty handed. I made tapas. Tapas means little plates. Yeah, I know about tapas. <laughs> The world works in certain ways until a new great idea comes along and changes everything. Newly streaming on Hulu is the series The Dropout. What if you could test your blood in your own home? And what if it wasn't a whole vial, but just a drop? I'm going to drop out to Stanford. This machine is going to change the world. Amanda Seyfried portrays Elizabeth Holmes in the show based on the true story of the rise and fall of Holmes's company, Theranos. I don't understand how you're doing this extremely complex chemical engineering with a high school degree. This technology is 10 years away. Your idea is impossible, so you just keep trying. What are we going to show at the demo? We're going to tell them that we don't have a working prototype. Right? The Dropout is streaming on Hulu now. You're in over your head. You're going to lose everything. No, I'm, I'm fine. Everything's fine. We can build anything. Whoa! We're pros. And newly streaming on Netflix is the series Making Fun. What do you want? Can you build me a time machine? The fart humidifier. What? 
So a catapult that throws cat poop? Yes. <laughs> a group of flannel-wearing bearded men build weird and crazy contraptions straight from children's imaginations, most of them based around bodily functions. <laughs> Some builds will be good. Dino, taco, toilet. Let's get this thing fired up! Some builds will be bad. Oh, my God. But all of them will be absolutely pointless. Yeah. That is disgusting. I want the unicorn to fart. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> all eight episodes of Making Fun are streaming on Netflix now. You better get to work. Those are the three things you need to watch. And this is Will Loper for News 3 Now this morning. Up next day, a local bakery is taking part in a global fundraising campaign in support of Ukrainian refugees amid the ongoing Russian invasion. Details when we return. The most used room in your home is probably your bathroom. So when it comes to updating that space, you want it done right. Mad City Baths is a sure choice for durable, beautiful bath and shower designs installed in as little as one day. I love it being able to get in and out without worrying about tripping and falling. And like I said, it's just, why didn't we do it before? Now listen to this. Mad City is looking for 30 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. 30 homeowners will save with free installation. 18 months, no interest, no payments, senior military discounts, and will compensate you for your time. And if you call during this program, you'll receive a $50 Amazon gift card with your in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify, 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. With MyCloud Fitness, good health doesn't have to cost thousands. MyCloud Fitness is the first all-in-one fitness solution with fitness tracking, coaching, and nutrition, all combined for your success and all connected to the highest quality equipment. Ready? Let's cycle, everybody. Stay motivated with on-demand workouts that fit your schedule. Easy nutrition tracking helps you eat healthy wherever you are. Don't worry about working out. Work in on your schedule anytime. It's your ride, your home, your speed. Featuring the Men's Health, Women's Health Connected Bike. Choose your coach for a challenging climb. Escape your office and enjoy the freedom of a cool country ride. Pump it up and feel the burn. Or chill out with yoga. Snap a picture to log meals. It automatically syncs all your nutrition and data. Buy your Bluetooth connected bike for only $499 and get a free subscription to one year of fitness, coaching, and nutrition, all synced for your success. It's the world's most affordable fitness solution, guaranteed to revolutionize the way you work out. Rather go rowing? Enjoy your fitness reality rower at our lowest price ever. The MyCloud Fitness app syncs up your nutritional input with your exercise output. Enjoy expert coaching on the water or in the gym. Target and tone legs, forearms, triceps, shoulders. Invest in yourself with your fitness reality rower for only $349. Plus, get the MyCloud Fitness app with fitness, on-demand coaching, and nutrition tracking. It's a $180 value, free for one year with your purchase. Go to MyCloudFitnessTV.com with a risk-free, 100% money-back guarantee. If not delighted, send it back and owe nothing. We'll even pay your return shipping. Get one year of free coaching, fitness, and nutrition tracking. This is the best offer ever. So go online to MyCloudFitnessTV.com. Right now, the death sentence has been reinstated for the convicted Boston Marathon bomber. Details coming up. And we're starting to see some rain coming in. We're going to talk more about this coming up. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday, and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now. I'm McKenna Alexander. Let's go ahead and send over to Julian Sirrett for a look at your Saturday forecast. Julian, looks like some raindrops are already coming down. That's right. If we could take a quick look over to the Vertmon as of right now, Brandon, because we are starting to see some rain rolling in for us, as we can see over towards our Vert Monitor, just outside on our patio. We are starting to see some raindrops here in Dane County. So, yes, we're going to be looking for some more rain as we continue throughout the rest of today. And on top of that, what's what we're going to be looking at as for in terms of 
aside from everything else that's going to be rain, well, we do have a wind advisory in effect from today going into our 9 a.m. hour going on to Sunday. Now, this is what we're looking at as of right now. Lots of activity for us throughout southern Wisconsin as we are starting to see a bit of that wintry mix, mainly into the north where the colder air is. But for us, as we're seeing those milder temperatures, well, we're looking at storms already starting to pop up just about south of the Wisconsin line into northern Illinois. But aside from that, we are looking at that rain starting to move its way in from Lafayette into our Iowa and to Dane County for us. We're going to be seeing much of this rain throughout the rest of this morning, but it's going to take a break. As we get into around the noon hour, we're going to be looking at mostly cloudy conditions for us, but the rain won't be much for us until we get into the early afternoon, going in closer to dinner time. Then we're going to start to see a bit more widespread rain that will be from light to moderate and even some heavy at times throughout the course of the day. But you can take note that the signatures are not going to be much in terms of any of that Boeing signature for us with these storms that will be sweeping their way through southern Wisconsin. So we're not looking at winds to be overly strong, but we are looking at plenty of rainfall that will be heavy at times throughout the course of the day. But again, they're going to be moving pretty quickly, so we're not looking at a ton in terms of snow, uh, rain accumulations for us, but still enough for much of southern Wisconsin. We'll talk more about this in a few moments. Tell them, let's go ahead and talk about you, McKenna. All right, thanks, Julian. Looking at our national headlines now, the U.S. Supreme Court has reinstated the death sentence for the convicted Boston Marathon bomber. With a 6-3 vote, the justices agreed with the Biden administration's arguments that a federal appeals court was wrong to throw out the death sentence a jury imposed on Johar Sarnaev. Three spectators and a police officer died in the 2013 bombing that Sarnaev and his brother were responsible for. His older brother died in gunfight with police. Meanwhile, a Trump-era border policy will continue under the Biden administration. It's been ruled the U.S. can continue to swiftly remove migrant families under an emergency pandemic rule for now, but only to places where they will not be persecuted or tortured. Across the country, Florida's governor is set to sign a new bill into law that would place stricter limits on abortion access. Here's the details. Florida's governor signaled full support for the bill passed by the state legislature, banning most abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. I think the protections are, are warranted, and uh, I think that uh, we'll, be able to, uh, we'll be able to sign that in short order. The measure would not apply in cases when the mother is at risk of death or irreversible physical impairment, or if the fetus has a fatal abnormality that is identified by two physicians, but it contains no exception exceptions for cases of rape, incest, or human trafficking. The bill was approved Thursday night after hours of emotional debate. These are children, and if we're not going to protect them, who will? Including the objections of a lawmaker who shared she had been raped like as a teenager. It's not okay to leave victims of survivors of rape and incest and human trafficking out in the cold. The measure is similar to the Mississippi law now before the Supreme Court, which could potentially overturn Roe v. Wade. President Biden called it dangerous just days after addressing the issue in his State of the Union speech. If you want to go forward, not backwards, we must protect access to health care, preserve a woman's right to choose. If Roe is overturned, dozens of states are likely to ban abortion, and many are already taking steps. Last fall, Texas banned abortions after about six weeks, sending women to neighboring Oklahoma. But now that state is following suit. The Oklahoma Senate is considering several bills, including a ban on abortion 30 days after conception. Florida's governor also spoke on the new Don't Say Gay bill, which would prohibit students from talking about their sexual orientation and gender identity. He says the bill will give parents discretion over what their children can learn in school. Now, the U.S. has set up a direct line of communication with Russia to avoid any misunderstandings as the attack rages on in Ukraine. The U.N. Security Council held an emergency meeting Friday morning after Russia took control of Europe's largest nuclear power plant. Heavy shelling sparked a brief fire, but there are no reports of radiation escaping as of now. We've just witnessed a dangerous new escalation that represents a dire threat to all of Europe and the world. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says that the Biden administration is still working to determine whether Russia's actions at the nuclear power plant and other civilian buildings meet the legal definition of war crimes. Earlier this week, the International Criminal Court announced it has opened investigations into Russia's invasion of Ukraine.
Vice President Kamala Harris is now scheduled to travel to Poland and Romania next week. The White House confirming the trip yesterday, saying it will highlight the collective effort to support the people of Ukraine. The Vice President is scheduled to meet with leaders of both countries with stops in Warsaw and Bucharest. Vladimir Zelensky has been praised by many for his response to the invasion. And now Holly Williams shares how the former comedian became the face of a nation under siege. Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, is being hailed as a new Winston Churchill. Stoically refusing to leave his country even as the bombs rain down. Sending words of inspiration to his people. But Zelensky started out as a comedian performing stand-up. He went on to make movies, often playing an everyman, like a Ukrainian Steve Carell. He even won the local version of Dancing with the Stars and voiced Paddington in the Ukrainian version of the blockbuster film. He created and starred in a hit comedy series about a Ukrainian high school teacher who improbably becomes president. And that led to Vladimir Zelensky, at age 41, improbably becoming president in real life, winning more than 70% of the vote. His campaign platform was bringing Ukrainians together and fighting corruption. Last year, we were given rare access to President Zelensky as he visited the front line in eastern Ukraine, where they've been fighting Russian-backed separatists for nearly eight years. Even then, he was taking risks, going within 150 yards of the separatists. And they go a little bit forward to see what's going on there. And, uh, for example, uh, the, in May, the two guys were killed by sniper. The no, president wait. also went to visit his elderly parents. Hello, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Inviting us in for breakfast. Ladies first, I'm sorry. <laughs> In the tiny kitchen of their apartment, we enjoyed an early morning brandy. Do you prefer politics or comedy? Comedy, his father Alexander told us, saying he worried too much about his only child. Vladimir Putin said he launched this bloody invasion to rid Ukraine of Nazis. A strange claim when Zelensky is Jewish and says his grandfather fought against the Nazis with the Soviet army. Now Ukraine is in peril again, and the country's unlikely leader has emerged as a hero. It's truly, truly awful. Even getting Hollywood's attention at an awards ceremony so Sunday. We have a fellow actor in Zelensky who deserves some credit tonight for fighting the fight. But Vladimir Zelensky has left showbiz far behind. He's found a new calling, helping to galvanize his people and winning the admiration of a world horrified by Putin's attack on Ukraine. In support of Ukrainian refugees amid that ongoing Russian invasion, a local bakery is taking part in a global fundraising campaign. Friday morning, Bloom Bake Shop started selling a Jewish pastry with proceeds benefiting humanitarian relief efforts. It only took an hour for them to sell out for the day, and when we stopped by, they were already busy making more. In that single hour, Bloom and the community raised $400. That's one hour, so we got a lot of days to make a difference. Store owner Anne Murray Matry says she and her staff plan to bake more in the coming weeks to keep up with demand and are now accepting pre orders for the coming days. Still ahead, a new study looks at effects alcohol has on the brain we may not have known. Details when we return. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast, News 3 Now This Morning. Well, uh, people that come by and say, oh, I got, I want to get in the tub and, you know, I want to get in the, the whirlpool part of it. And, well, anytime you want to, just come on over, you know.
Impress your family and friends with a new bath or shower from Mad City Baths. Replace that old tub with a gorgeous walk-in shower or walk-in tub installed in as little as one day with premium wall patterns like Sierra Sand, Arctic Ice, and White Travertine. 30 homeowners who call right now will receive free installation on a new bath or shower. 18 months, no interest, no payments, senior military discounts. Let us take before and after pictures and you'll be compensated for your time. Pick up the phone and call now to get a $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify, 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. I grew up working in my family's supper clubs. This is where it started with us as far as the fish that we serve at Culver's today. We source the finest cod and batter each filet by hand and always cook it to order. That beautiful golden brown color and flaky on the inside. The fish fry is a Midwest tradition. It's about families coming together. I love bringing this tradition to guests everywhere. Mom and Dad would be proud. Welcome to Delicious. When a local man lost close to a quarter million dollars of his retirement savings to scammers, our Call for Action team helped recover every penny. It does happen to a lot of people. Leo Linscheid breaks down the steps to take so it doesn't happen to you. Sunday at 10. News 3 Now is always on. Get the Channel 3000 app, activate the push alerts, and we will send you breaking news, traffic, and weather alerts as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. And before we get into just taking a look at the radar, as you can see at our HMOM behind us, this is what we're seeing on our weather patio as of right now. So as you're heading out the door, yeah, make sure that you have your rain gear nearby because it is definitely going to be a wet start to our Saturday and we're just getting started. As we can see, that first line of some storms starting to make their way across southern Wisconsin, impacting Dane County, Rock, uh, Rock County, and going into seeing uh, into Forsock and Lafayette County as well. As we go in throughout the rest of today, how However, this is what we're going to be seeing in terms of timing. Once that first line moves its way through early afternoon, we're going to be seeing some more rain starting to roll its way in with some heavier rainfall pushing through. And then we're just going to be back to back rounds of heavy rainfall that will be periodically transitioning itself into moderate and light rain as well. So we're looking at stormy conditions throughout much of today and going into tonight as well before we transition into our Sunday to looking to more quiet conditions till we get into Sunday. Nights. We are looking for some pretty decent rainfall totals throughout southern Wisconsin for us as we go on throughout the rest of this event. But in terms of threats, just know that high winds are mainly going to be the threat for us here in southern Wisconsin. We'll talk more about what else to expect in a few moments. Until then, back to you, McKenna. All right, thanks, Julian. Previous research has shown heavy drinking is not good for the brain, but now a new large study shows even just one drink a day may have an impact. Bradley Blackburn has more on those findings. Many people enjoy the occasional glass of wine with dinner or a drink to wind down at the end of the day. Red wine and chocolate is a good combination. I usually have probably one drink later on in the evening. Research has long shown that those who drink heavily have changes in the structure and size of the brain that are associated with cognitive impairments. But now a new study finds even just a few beers or glasses of wine a week may also be risky. Were you surprised by what you found? I was. 
I was surprised at just how little alcohol seems to be necessary to reduce brain volume. Dr. Henry Kranzler and researchers from the University of Pennsylvania looked at data on more than 36,000 adults and found light to moderate drinking was associated with reductions in overall brain volume. What happens in cases where people drink far more than one drink a day? The reductions are proportional. So the more you drink, the smaller the volume. For example, in 50-year-olds, increasing drinking from about half a beer a day to a pint of beer led to changes in the brain equivalent to aging two years. Dr. Kranzler says the study's findings are in contrast to current guidelines on safe drinking limits, which say no more than one drink per day for women, no more than two drinks per day for men. It's reasonable to have a small amount of alcohol, but I would discourage people from drinking more than one or two drinks on any occasion and no more than probably seven drinks on average in a week. Dr. Kranzler says about a third of the adult population drinks more than recommended, so cutting back could have real benefits. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. CDC data shows that two in three adult drinkers report drinking above moderate levels at least once a month. Still ahead, drivers in California are livid over the state's high gas prices. Why some are paying close to $6 a gallon. Plus a look at Wisconsin's paying at the pump. And you're taking a live look over the Capitol. Julian's tracking your forecast just ahead on News 3 Now. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Attention homeowners, we started out with 50. Now 30 homeowners will receive special savings on a new bath or shower from Mad City Baths. From walk-in or barrier-free showers to walk-in tubs with hydrotherapy. Microband protection keeps surfaces cleaner and fresher for longer. And we install in as little as one day. Backed by a double lifetime warranty. Remember, 30 homeowners will save with free installation on a new bath or shower. 18 months, no interest, no payments, senior military discounts. We're going to take a before and after picture, compensate you for your time to save you more money. And now's the time to call in, but it's the last chance to get the $50 Amazon gift card with your free estimate during this program. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify, 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. For you, I wish many things. <laughs> to see all the world can be. But most of all, I wish you'll never stop wishing. Everything is relative. Travel, for example. A trip to Stoughton might seem like a long way. But if you're shopping for diamonds, it's closer than you think. Diamond Select. Importers of shimmering diamonds from the mines of South Africa to the streets of Antwerp and Tel Aviv. They shop the diamond capitals of the world so you don't have to. Diamond Select. Direct pricing saves you money. The GIA certified South African diamonds. Diamond Select. Downtown Stoughton. are better at saving than we are and more organized too try embracing your inner squirrel when you open a bmo harris savings builder account you get a cash reward every month you save that sounds great you can also set up savings goals and easily track your progress that could help us redo the yard you could really go nuts <laughs> yeah i'll show myself out when a bank helps you make real financial progress that's the bmo effect News 3 Now's Call for Action team advocates for you. Asking the right questions. Yeah. You hope to make that right. And getting results. They sent a water heater the next day after you made the call. Call for Action, only on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today.
And as we get things rolling for us, as of right now, it's roughly about 45 degrees currently. But as we get the rest of our morning started for us, just know we're going to be having quite an active day in terms of the weather world for us. Our friends into the north are going to be dealing with wintry weather. And for us, well, we're going to be dealing with some late spring type weather, which is some severe conditions for us. Wind advisory in effect for southern Wisconsin until 9 a.m. Sunday morning. And as for every area that is into that tan color as of right now. But again, we are looking at a dynamic system that's going to be rolling in, bringing in snow to the north and plenty of storms to the south. As we go in throughout the rest of today, just know it is going to be a soggy one as we get into our afternoon. It's already starting to be on the wet side for us here in Dane County as we're looking at this system starting to roll its way through. Now, this is just the first line of storms that we've been seeing throughout this morning, which is reaching into northern Illinois coming in from Iowa. Now it's starting to track its way across Dane County as we continue throughout the rest of this morning. There is some thunderstorms that are going to be associated with that first line, even though it's not a lot of it. But throughout the course of this morning, we're going to be seeing that line first push its way out, and then we're going to be looking for more of a break. And then as we get into the early afternoon, we're going to be looking for multiple rounds of rain that will be from moderate to even heavy periodically throughout the course of the day, with plenty of potential of seeing thunderstorms that will be very widespread as it's moving its way throughout southern Wisconsin as we get into the later part of tonight. That's when we're going to start to see more of those quiet conditions coming for us. But until then, as we transition into Sunday, well, we're going to be looking at quiet until we get into Sunday nights, transitioning into Monday. So we're looking at storms today that are more spring-like, and then we go into our Sunday night transitioning into Monday. Well, folks, prepare for some light snow to wake up for your Monday morning commute. We'll get to that later on throughout the rest of the weekend, but we got to deal with today because we are looking for some healthy amounts of rainfall throughout much of southern Wisconsin, especially areas into the west and northwest, which you're going to be seeing quite a bit of some heavier rainfall. But in terms of threats, tornado is mainly going to be over into Iowa. For us in southern Wisconsin, not as much, nor for hail, but for strong or high winds, 35 to 45 miles per hour is what we're going to be looking at to be the main threat with any of the storms that are going to be associated with us for today. A look at our 10-day forecast. After today, we will start to see once again a bit more of some stormy conditions for today, but then we're going to be quieting out for the most part. Could see some light snow going into our Monday morning commute, but then seasonable temperatures throughout much of next week, McKenna. All right, thanks, Julian. Taking a look at gas prices, AAA has the latest for drivers in Wisconsin. People in Dane County could be paying about $3.40 per gallon. It's about five cents less than the state's average. Though in California, record gas prices in Los Angeles have drivers in sticker shock at the pump. But as Tina Patel shows us, some drivers are saying no way, and others are saying it's no big deal compared to what's happening in Ukraine. Robert Evans was about to fill up at this Beverly Grove gas station, but when he saw a gallon of gas would cost him more than $6, he decided to hold off. I thought, there's no way I'm paying that. I got enough gas to get to where I'm going. About an hour later, prices went up even more. Regular gas is now $6.65 here. A gallon of premium is $7.25. Drivers tell us they've never seen prices this high, and they're not sure they can afford them. I was really only going to fill up like half a tank because it's so expensive here. Prices rose everywhere in the Southland overnight. According to AAA, the average price for a gallon of regular gas in L.A. County is now over $5 for the first time ever. It's only only slightly cheaper in other areas. The U.S. and its allies have agreed to tap into their strategic oil reserves to counterbalance the effect the Russian invasion has had on the global market. Drivers hope that will provide relief soon because they say they weren't prepared for this. No, it was like pretty much overnight. Didn't expect it to be that fast. Many wish they could drive less or take public transportation more, but they say that's not an option for most people. I mean, here it's not really possible, especially if you work further away than like the same town. So there's really no choice but to pay and to try to keep the high prices in perspective. It is what it is, and it is not as bad as for the people in Ukraine who are getting bombed, you know, carpet bombed, civilians and stuff. I, I think that's worse than the high prices. Stick with news through now all weekend. Brad will have the day's top stories tonight at 6 and 10. But first, a Nebraska teenager that's colorblind has gotten the ultimate birthday gift. We're back in a moment. It's the A1 Furniture and Mattress Instant Cash Back event. Save up to 40% off store wide. Plus, get $50 instant cash back on every $500 you spend. Take advantage of four years free financing with qualified purchase. Shop in store or online only at A1 Furniture. 
Since I left for college, my dad has gotten back into some of his old hobbies. And now he's taking Trulicity. And it looks like he's gotten into some new, healthier habits, too. What changes are you making for your type 2 diabetes? Maybe it's time to try Trulicity. It's proven to help lower A1C. It could help you lose up to 10 pounds. And it's only taken once a week, so it can fit into your busy life. Trulicity is for type 2 diabetes. It isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. It's not approved for use in children. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, changes in vision, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. The choices you make can help control your A1C. Ask your doctor about Once Weekly Trulicity. Every parent I talk to wants to be sure they're doing all they can to protect their kids from COVID-19. As a Wisconsin pediatrician, I tell them the COVID-19 vaccines for kids has been thoroughly tested and is proven to be safe for ages five and up. Getting your child a COVID-19 vaccine is the most effective way to help kids stay safe and in school. Ask your child's doctor what they think. I can't take it anymore. It's time for a change. Buy one window, get one free? Perfect. I can change, honey. Not you. These drafty old windows. Oh. It's time for a change. Buy one window, get one free from Feldco. Buy one, get one free, and soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Even under the best driving conditions, semi-trucks can still be dangerous. The results of being in Iraq can be catastrophic. If you or a loved one has been injured by a semi-truck, call Gruber Lofts now. One call, that's all. Get instant cash back on every mattress purchase over $500 only at A1 Furniture. Save up to 40% off top name brand mattresses. Plus get instant cash back and four years free financing with qualified purchase. Shop in store or online now at A1 Furniture. Mission Unstoppable, Saturday morning at 9 on News 3 Now. Finally this morning, a blue sky and green grass. Things many of us are used to seeing, but we may take that for granted. As Nicole Griffiths tells us, one Nebraska tanager can't see color very well. That was until his friend surprised him with a special birthday gift. I've heard of bricks being red. I didn't know how true that was. Through Zane Steubendeck's eyes, he sees a lot of grays. I know that I know that it's a green, but I see I see a gray right here. That was until a few weeks ago. For his 19th birthday, seven of his friends pitched in $250 total to get him a pair of Enchroma glasses that help colorblind people see color. They even captured the moment when his world was brightened. <laughs> Do they work right there? Dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's shaking so bad. Oh, oh Yeah, I put him on and got emotional, and I was just nervous that they wouldn't work at first, but I put on the glasses and immediately saw a red car, and that was my first time seeing red. I've told him for a long time, I just never knew what was gonna happen. So like, now that I was finally doing it for him, I was very excited. So then I got happy, and then he started crying. And then I had to hold my tears back. Zane's friends have been by his side since high school, helping him pick out clothes and making sure he's matching along the way. They're the type of friends who are literally brightening his life. It's the only reason that I was able to experience that is because of them. So I couldn't be any more grateful to have those type of people around me. Well, whenever we look outside, we mm -hmm. see, luckily, we see oh, green. We also see a lot of rain right now. <laughs> I'm would just you... looking at our little monitor right back there, and it's really coming down. My goodness. What color what? would you give rain if you could? Oh, my gosh, Julian, it's too early for this. Clear? <laughs> Sometimes it's an off-white. not a color. Well, not really. <laughs> Clear. Yes, it is. I would... <laughs> well, it's a lack of a color. That kind of a let us know what you think i would have just said blue can you okay. just water's not can you just tell me the forecast 
<laughs> Don't do this to me today. <laughs> As we are taking a look at the weather for right now, let's uh, go ahead and spare <laughs> McKenna. Thank you. We're looking at the rain starting to sweep its way through Dane County, and we're going to be looking at multiple rounds throughout the course of the day. A bit moderate as of right now, as she mentioned outside, it is on to the heavier side of some rainfall for us. So make sure that you have your rain gear prepared and on top of it. It's going to get soggy throughout the course of this afternoon. So we're going to be looking at multiple rounds of seeing some quick hitting rain and storm thunderstorms rolling its way through southern Wisconsin for us. Here's a look at our 10 day forecast. Today is going to be the beautiful 60, but it's going to be stormy 